Though COVID closed the lifeguard stands for the summer in Minneapolis, today beaches were flooded. We wanted the kids to be able to play at the beach and have a good time today. It's the perfect day to be out here and enjoy the weather. Minneapolis beaches are considered swim at your own risk all summer from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. But pools are another story. Though technically allowed to open at 50% capacity as early as Wednesday, many cities, including St. Paul, Minneapolis, and Richfield, say they'll stay closed all summer due to difficulty with hiring, budgets, and distancing. I think they should open the pools, but it, like you said, it is going to be hard with social distancing to do that inside a pool. The same hit or miss answers apply to sports. We're getting to be full swing now into baseball and softball. David Devine says St. Paul Highland Ball started practicing this week. So a couple days ago we got an email that they're going to move forward with their seasons. My wife and I then had a discussion. Is this something we want to do? And it, it's kind of a risk reward at this point. We feel if we do things right that so we can keep everyone safe and have a little bit of a baseball season. The state's new stay safe guidance for sports will help with those decisions. Baseball, basketball and soccer are considered medium risk, more risky than running, cycling and golf, but less than wrestling, football and karate. And though medium and high risk sports can now start practicing with distancing and other precautions, games are still on hold. Highland Ball hopes that changes in time to start a six week season in July. Lie. From my understanding, at the kind of the traveling metro level, there's some associations that are saying this isn't the right year for us. We're going to hit pause too, but I'm going to bet there's a lot of people out there like us that are excited uh, to get out and play and having some fun. Kent Erdahl, Care 11 News.